गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ज्ञान निकेतन गर्ल्स स्कूल क्लास फोर सो चिल्ड्रन डिड यू एंजॉय रिसाइटिंग द पोएम डिंट यू आई फील यू मस्ट हैव एंजॉयड रिसाइटिंग द पोएम सो टूडे वी विल नो वॉट डज द पोएम समर सन बाय आर एल स्टीवेंसन रियली मीन वॉट actually he want to present before us so children let us start summer sun is a perfect example of the use of a literary technique called personification in which a poet's word bring an inanimate object to life in the poem you can imagine the sun as a shot of big cheerful man who is always barging in so children what does the word barging means to try to enter anywhere forcefully he seems to be a likable guy indeed we thoroughly enjoy his sparkling personality and so now children let us discuss poem stanza wise so what is the first stanza great is the sun and wide he goes through empty heaven without repose and in the blue and glowing days more thick than rain he sours his rays so what does the poet says in this stanza he has described the sun as very big and great he is telling it is all alone in the sky showering its light its rays are thicker than rain while traveling it is calm and composed so what does the poet says that being all alone in the sky you can see in during the summer when you see in the sky do you see anything else than sun no so what do you see all alone sun is showering its light and it rays are so strong so here the poet compare it with rain drop he says that rays are thicker than rain and while traveling it never gets irritated or annoyed he always remain calm and composed so now let us see the second stanza though closer still the blinds we pull to keep the shady parlor cool yet he will find a chink or two to slip his golden fingers through so what does the poet say is through this stanza is poet has presented sun as a human being who has a golden finger here what is the golden finger the rays of the sun and it can enter through anywhere poet says though we try to keep our room cool and dark in summer but sun find its own way to enter our room even through a very narrow crack or opening so when in the summer what do we do we just cut in our room we shut the door and try to make it dark so that sun rays doesn't enter our room and make our room warm now let us see what poet has said in the third stanza the dusty attic spider clad he threw the keyhole make it glad and threw the broken edge of tiles into the ladder hail of smiles so what does poet says there is no place on the earth where it cannot reach it can even spread its light into the attic what does the word attic means which means a store box room partially inside the roof of building which is dusty and full of spiders even through broken edge of tiles and bundle of hay and make it bright now fourth stanza what does the poet says meantime his golden face around he bears to all the garden ground and sheds a warm and glittering look among the ivies in most nook 
So what does the poem says in the fourth stanza? That sun turn its golden face and spread sparkling light and warmth all around the earth. It doesn't spare even garden ground or ivies. What does the word ivy mean? Ivies means green climber, an evergreen plant which never shed its leaves. Now the fifth stanza and it is the last stanza of the poem. Here poet so tells about the setting of the sun. Above the hills, along the blue, round the bright air with footing true. To please the child, to paint the rose, the gardener of the world, he goes. So what does the poet say in the last stanza? Poet tells that even while sun is setting, it spreads happiness and cheer. How it spreads its happiness? By painting the sky in beautiful vivid set of red. That means while there is sunset, what do you see? You see the sun has different red color. So, so now children, you must have understood the poem. Let us quickly summarize the poem. In this poem, the speaker describes different aspects of sun's character. When the sun travels across the sky every day, it is calm and composed. In summer, however, it grows brighter and starts to grow mischievous. What does the word mischievous mean? Naughty. That. And how does the sun become naughty? That it makes you sweat. It stealthily enters through the blinds on the windows and warms up the room. Its rays reach every dark and cold corner and warm them. The sun spreads happiness and cheer even when it sets down, painting the sky in beautiful vivid set of red. So children, this is all for today. You must have understood the poem very well now.